Hi, I'm Noreen O'Connor, C&D Education Ambassador, and in this video, I'd like to show you how I've created this marble effect using C&D shellac. I've started with a shellac manicure that already has one coat of cream puff applied. I'm now applying rough shapes with asphalt using a Lacente D2 brush. I'm doing random stripes and random lightning bolt shapes to help create the look of a marbleized nail. Next I've cleaned my brush and I'm now taking some isopropyl alcohol or disperse and patting it on to the asphalt. I'm allowing this to melt the shellac colour slightly and letting it flow. Once the alcohol has dried a little, I can then go in and clean up any of the tide marks. You don't want it to look too neat. Sometimes the messier it is, the more realistic it looks. When you're happy with how your design looks, cure this layer in your chosen C&D lamp. Once this layer has been cured, I'm then going to seal the free edge and cover the entire nail in a thin, even coat of Studio White. I've chosen Studio White as it's a little more sheer. You can choose to leave the design here by just simply top coating or if you would prefer your design to have more depth, you can go in and add some darker pieces to your veining. I'm just going to repeat the steps of blending this out with a little bit of alcohol on my brush. The beauty of doing a marble nail this way is that you can play with this for as long as you like until you are completely happy with the design. If you've taken too much away, you can simply add some more and if you feel it's too heavy, just blot it out with some more alcohol to reduce the shade. Cure this in your chosen C&D lamp. I'm now finishing with a coat of C&D Original Top Coat. I'm sealing in the free edge and I'm covering the entire nail using a thin even application using the five point polish method. I've cured this and removed the sticky top film. I'm now mattifying the entire surface of the nail using the green side of the C&D glossing buffer and cleansing the nail with some disperse to remove any debris. And this is what your finished nail will look like. If you've liked this design, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. I upload new videos every Tuesday.